Praise the Lord, everyone. It is Tish Michelle, a.k.a. Tish Angelish. I come to you with the August word from the Most High God. The Royal Hakadash began to give me this word from last weekend up until now. And it is just such an honor. And I just thank him for this beautiful word. God is saying that you are entering into greener pastures. Oh, yes, my friends. He said that we have entered into a season in which many who have seen defeat will begin to exceed and succeed and excel in certain faucets of life. I saw so many blessings pouring on this earth, and this will not be the same for each and every one of you. But uh, for many of you, okay, uh, maybe... Some of you are okay in one area and you just need God to work out some other areas. So this won't be the same for everyone. But he's pouring out blessings. He's pouring out the green pastures in which things that have been difficult, uh, you will now begin to make progressions and excel and exceed where you have seen defeat. God is going to flip that thing and turn it around into succession, okay? Um, and I saw every faucet of life. These are the blessings that God is outpouring on many of his people in the body of Christ, okay? He's saying, yes, all faucets, the health, love life. Oh, yes, I even saw the love life, mm-hmm. Um, and again, this won't be for everyone, but it, this may be for you. I literally heard, now you just met that person. I heard, um, you may as well go ahead on and plan your wedding because the person that you just met, yeah, that's the one. Oh yeah, maybe you've had some difficult relationships. Maybe you have had failed marriages or failed relationships, but God is saying that some of y'all just met the one. And it's not that he wants you to just go ahead on and start planning, but what he's saying is, surprise, surprise, yeah, do you not know that it may seem that it's too good to be true? But uh, for some of y'all, I believe some of y'all have just met the one. So again, this word won't be the same for everybody. But some of you guys have just met the one. Mm -hmm. I literally saw that. Um, I saw that all areas of life are life balance. Many who have had certain aspects that were unbalanced or upside down okay maybe it seemed like you've had no help you're in a season that you needed help and you didn't have no help oh but you needed god to make a way and god is saying that the way is here because i am sending help the wait is now over okay things that were maybe beyond control you're going to get a handle on those things now says the Ruach HaKadosh. And I heard life balance. And also the number five was a number that I just kept seeing throughout the week. And God told me that that number was associated with this word. Okay, when I looked it up, I didn't realize that number five means life balance. Okay, so God is going to balance out our lives. You know, a life balance is so important. So maybe things were not quite right. Okay, maybe you were okay over here, but then you this one thing over here was just damaging your whole life balance, just throwing everything else off. Well, that's that one thing that God is about to make that cricket path straight. Uh-huh. That's why I kept seeing the number five. Also in the Greek and Hebrew concordance, we find that the number five is a representation of Abba Father, meaning that God is going to dispense and be a father to you to provide for you what you need to make this thing to make and create that life balance that many of us really, really need, okay? Um, and I don't know if y'all have ever heard this song, Jesus will fix it after a while. Jesus, you will fix it. Well, God is saying today that this is the fix it Jesus season. That season is now. Okay. People of God, I saw so many different struggles, so many different struggles in the body of Christ. All the things that um, we've been going through, so many different things. Um, different people have been struggling in different areas, some the same, some not. But that's not really important. But what I did see was that song, another song from way back in the day. Um, Daughter need a pair of shoes. Um, my light bill due. Um, telephone disconnect. Waiting for the next paycheck. And um, what was the song? Work it out. Work it out. God will work it out. And then Ty Tribbett. He has a more up-to-date current song, um, Work It Out. Regardless of what the situation is, he will work it out. So I saw just all these struggles, all these different things, all these problems, just like trouble on every hand. But God is saying that this is the fix-it Jesus season. This is a season you are entering into greener pastures. Yes. So your degress is going to be changed to progress and things will begin to move more in our favor to those who qualify for this new season of green pastures.
Yes, God is saying that our ongoing battles are going to turn and be replaced with victory. Our shame, he's going to turn that into triumph. And where there was no peace, he's saying, I'm going to turn it to joy and laughter. Many of your stagnant seasons where things were not working out are now going to work out. He's going to work it out. Hallelujah. And in this season, people's name even is going to seem like you got a whole different name. Like, you know how they say God will change your name because it's going to be such a turning point in your life that when they look at you, all they're going to be able to do is say, well, wasn't that the one? She got all that money. Now, isn't that the one that was borrowing money from you last year? Yeah, that's the one. And, and you know, or... Isn't that the one that used to get beat up by her boyfriend? Yeah, she had a good man. Now good to her children. A good Yeah, it's going to be like your whole name even, God's saying. That's what it's going to be like. Um, it's going to be changed. So this is like a turning point in people's life wherein all people are going to be able to do is say, I remember when. But they're going to now know you as something else. Okay? But for those, God is saying that you're going to qualify for this if you have hid the word in your heart. He said, them that did not seek pleasure in their own way, but they studied the course. This season is for you. And I heard the wait is now over. Okay. I heard progression to succession. Okay. He's going to turn failure into victory. He's going to elevate and give you triumph. I heard elevation and triumph, and I heard this is the winning season. God is saying we're going to go, many of us, from bondage to deliverance in many different areas of our lives. And he said, newfound success. He said, in one day, I can change your life just like that. And I saw fingers snapping just like that. He said, just like for Job, he said, I'm able to change it for the good or for the bad. He can change up and switch things up just like this because he is God. Oh yes. A lot of people who are stressed now will not be stressed any longer because God is saying, I am going to make a way where there was no way I will create one where there is no bridge over troubled waters. The Ruach HaKadosh say, I will lay one down. Oh, I have come to switch things up. I heard, yep, get a good look at me now because things are shifting and what you see now, you will not see on tomorrow. Oh, God is saying today that this is the season of many changes for the better in our lives. I see increases, he's saying, rewards. This is God saying to get your mind off of me or begin to thank him right now. He's saying, because you will reap the fruit of your labor. I heard first fruits and he said, in a moment, this will be a season of time of happiness, togetherness, what you have been dreaming for and many of you, what you have lived for. He's saying this is going to be a season in which you can finally exhale, okay, and relax. Because some of you were at the end of the road. He said you did not have no relief. You couldn't see no change in your life. Oh, you may have couldn't see your breakthrough today. Oh, yes, maybe even now, even you can't see your way through. And some of us, he's saying, were in the den of the lion. And I heard the lion's mouth. He say, well, now things are about to switch up because you're about to enter into this season of a rapid switcheroo, okay? God is about to turn things that were upside down and make them crooked paths straight. I also, he said, I heard um, six weeks for some and even four to six weeks for others. Mm -hmm. And he said that some of you have already walked in this newfound change of release of green pastures. After extensive battles and shame even in situations wherein you did not know what the outcome would be, situations wherein you had to trust in Yah, for some of you, you have qualified for the green pastures. He's saying that I am going to even shake up just to shake down the blessings. Yeah, he's going to have to shake some things up and rattle some things. Yeah, some things um, that he had to get uh, radical with. Maybe you have some things on your back even, but that's okay. God got that too. This is a season to continuously trust in Yah. And maybe it wasn't your time before, but God is saying that I am going to lighten the heavy load right now. Be still and know that I am God, he said. Don't give up. Don't give in. Listen attentively to my words. And this is very important for some of you. You need to just be still and know that he is God. Just keep quiet. Okay, I don't know what your situation, maybe you're in a dangerous situation, but God is saying that you don't have to do nothing. I'm going to remove them barriers of entry to this green season. For some of y'all, y'all ain't even got to 
meddle with this thing, okay? God is going to do it all by himself. For others of you, you may need to stand up for yourself and get radical, okay? Sometimes we have to have a backbone and stand up for ourselves. So sometimes we have a part to play because faith without works is dead. So be sensitive to know what God is leading you to do because he has given you the strength. He has given you the power. He's going to give you the victory, okay? He's going to give you the know-how. So be sensitive in the spirit to know with your spiritual ear where and what God is leading you to do. Let me uh, clock in to work. Okay, let me keep going with this word. This is going to be a part one because it's a very extensive prophetic word for this season. Um, for others of you, he's saying some of you are in the den of lions. You may have to be witty, witty, you know, clever and listen to God as to how to leave Egypt. Some of y'all are leaving some bad situations. He's saying today, strategically listen to me as you ease the hand out of the lion's mouth. I heard it's your time. The battle, the wait is over. You stood the test of time. You passed the test. Now it is over. And many of you, because people may have criticized you and thought and assumed that did not care to know why, but just assume he ain't have to be going through that. She ain't have to be going through this. She ain't have to be going through that. Or he don't have to go through, they don't have to go through that and this or whatever. You know, uh, many times people don't understand. I heard People just don't understand many of my people struggle. That is what God is saying. Many people don't understand your disappointment, some of you, your losses, your hindrances even. Maybe you were in a season of a, it felt like a hindrance zone, wherein I can't get up, I can't go around it, I can't, I, it's just, I'm blocked. Some of you have felt literally blocked, but God is saying today, it was sealed this way. They did not understand God is saying, hallelujah. See, when you are in the hand, when um, when your hand is in the lion's mouth today, God is saying, you got some of y'all, you got to take your time to get your hand out of a real lion's mouth. Hallelujah. So that is why you had to exercise patience and you just couldn't make a, a quick, hasty situation. Because if you would have, you would have made that situation worse. And for some of you, others were looking from the outside, looking in, and they did not understand you. They did not understand your life. And they did not really understand what blocked meant for you. Hallelujah. Sometimes we are in seasons and periods of time, uh, seasons of blockages, wherein if people haven't gone through that, they really can't relate. Because, you know, they've always had it this way or that way. They may have experienced those blockages and they may hear you, but they really don't have no relativity to that. Um, wherein you may have been in a block season wherein you really did not have any options. Maybe you really did have a lack of complete lack of resources. Maybe you don't have the stability that other people have or you don't really have real family like normal, you know, situations. And those people who have that, they look at you and they just feel like, child, he can do better. She can do better. But for you, yeah, God is saying many of you, people did not understand your struggle. Yeah, they might have heard your situation and talked about you even. They maybe can't relate to your losses. Maybe they felt like you could have done more. Um, or maybe you did not have the career or the finances or the health. And they felt like, you know, you have this or you have education. You ought to be able to do better. But God just said he had it sealed like that. See, that's why we got to be careful. We got to be careful because you're not in that person's shoes. You do not know their struggle. You're not with them 24-7 to know. You really don't know. You just from the outside looking in. So we have to be careful. And um, many people, they felt like, you know, you could have helped yourself or you had enough help to help yourself. Okay, I don't know what you were going through but a lot of you were misunderstood even and god said that job friends did not understand him go to the book of job and you will see that his friends did not even understand what he was going through but i heard god say that enough is enough rejoice for i have given you the victory regardless of opinions of men Regardless of people thinking whether you have earned it or not, regardless of jealousy or this and that, people fighting you, maybe you didn't get the help that you needed, but that's okay. God is saying, praise me in advance. And this is part one. Stay tuned for part two. I got to go to work. I love you guys. What a blessed word. Amen.